one. What's up, y'all? The Big Face Gavin Show. Shout out to the Upper West Side. Shout out to my mom to hate him. Please out my friends and family, even my haters. Shout out to Frankito Yin Yankee, Frankito, Yankito, Scott the Truth, Haitian Pat, L Bulls, one of my main man's Cotty, who grew up with me, he's here for me. We looking out, we just love each other, and we here with my man. So now I'ma change the anthem. The anthem is a legend. Gary and family. My man Carter. Harlem World Carter. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm gonna go right into it, man. So we all know you from St. Nick and you done did everything over there. You was a young boy. So you went and did a demo with your man. You and you and Beef did a demo. Yep, me and Beef. Well, Beef was a part of this group called BBO. Bending bitches over. Right, right. right. <laughs> he was like, you know what I mean? He was like the great pawn of that group. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of them, but he was like, you know, he was dumb nice. And um, so yeah, he, you know, we was friends, and then we, I, I wanted to rap, and then we did a little demo, and they heard it, and then after that is, let's get it. Yeah. After, well, go, go ahead. well, then now, no, no. I don't want to cut you off. You're dumb as I, I'm so, I so now what happened after that was you went Mace, they they thought you was playing, you, you was killing the game, you was very young. So then Tommy Boy Records penalty, the same label you and Nori's on. Right. Yeah. So 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 let's let's go from the demo, right? Yeah, that's so, what I'm trying. I know what I'm going for the demo. Yeah. Um, Mace is up here in the demo. You know, Mace was um I don't think Mace was really on yet, but uh Mace was in BBO too. Yes, yes. Mace was in BBO too. But I'm thinking um, <clears throat> I wanna say. Only you was a, was out at least. I don't know if Mace was Mace yet, but he was about to be. Okay. Or he was. Okay. So Mace heard the demo. Um, then we ended up starting doing clue tapes, me, him, and Cam. Cam wasn't on. You did clue tape with Ron G and Clue. Ron G was the first one, yeah. Okay. And then um as Clue started to be we started to be clue But he you know, he really wanted Mace. Mace I, I, Mace brought me with him and I got on them joints, which just turned out to be classic. Yeah, oh yeah. You know what I'm Murder, okay. So that was the mixtape ever right there. So from Ron G to Clue and then of course uh Rest in Peace K Slay, you know, uh the list goes on, Envy, you know, all of all of the mixtapes after a while, you know what I'm saying? So then what happened was you killed the mixtape game. You was very young, and what they said. So I know, like you said, Mace wasn't only was on. I'm not gonna get into that part. Bottom line is, I think Mace had a leverage because you was signed. They Tommy Boy Penalty Records said we want to sign them, and yeah. they asked Mace, "Your Mace, what you think?" Mace said, "I'm co-signing it, and I want to executive produce it. Whatever I got to do to do, yeah. sign this motherfucker." Yeah. So, yep. So. All right, so the clue taste is heating up, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was young, man. I was like 16, and niggas was liking it. So, um, and Mace, matter of fact, Mace was on because anything Mace was co-signed, they, they were signing. You know, you get what I'm saying? Okay. But you would have got a deal at that time. You get what I'm saying? So Mace was on. All right. Um, so yeah, penalty. Um, I yeah. guess they offered. It was the first people to uh, offer or something. Let me help you. So we hopped on that. You hopped on it. They gave you 50 racks. 50 minutes. Advance. Yeah. And then. $250,000 to $250, budget, too. Okay, to do your bit beats. But then your mom is also like my mom, rest in peace. I want to say my condolences. And my mom died in 2013, but you lost your mom in 98. Yes. And I commend you because I can't even imagine raising myself at your age. Mm -hmm. And you moved to the Bronx with your family, and your sisters and your family went to your aunts in Atlanta. Am I correct? Correct. So, what got me bugging out is that, but but the thing, I'm gonna go before she passed. Your mom always called you two weeks to make the lab. Your mom wanted you to be a messenger. I'm gonna get back there. My mom, what I did, a messenger called in, I went and got some work. I messaged her for two weeks and got an ounce of coke and got off. So you did, so you was a messenger. <laughs> so you was a messenger. Yeah, and I got off. Got it, got it, got it. I would have got a cop. It was like $3.35 an hour back then. I remember I was a kid. Three dollars and thirty-five. Frankie though, I went to war for like two and a half weeks. What an ounce. I could say, nah, man, my man ain't here no more for my man Baba Law, man. That nigga put me onto the game. Talk about that. Rest in peace, Baba Law. The ounce cost about three forty. <laughs> I ain't never turned back. So when your mom sent a message, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is before she knew I had any time. Yeah, yeah. Then your mom was like, I don't give a fuck about nothing. And she knew he was going to be a rapper. I need to wash the machine and dry. Because those stairs killed her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that's a true story, man. Um, so yeah, she ultimately wanted me to be to be a messenger. Um, that didn't go out because at fifteen, I had a whole record deal. You get what I'm saying? But a fucking record company. Mace was hot. You get what I'm saying? So she seen it. She like. Anytime Mace, because Mace used to have to be like, yo, can he go? You know, can we take him on? We're going to do a show. Can he go? She used to have to, like, you know, get his, uh, get her permission. Right. You get what I'm saying? So she knew it was, it was up. Huh. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? She like, all right, this music shit, it, 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 it um, you know, it has potential yeah. to be something. You get what I'm saying? So, bro, I'm 15. I got to go to school. We did the first crew mixtape. Show me the money. Was that one? Or oh, one, one of them, right? Call, so, call it. I got to cut you to make you laugh. Because if you stay right there, because I watch you, you go back and forth like me. I have to do this. Nah. I remember when Mace was nothing. He came to Rockefeller Records. Wow. He didn't have a deal or nothing. We on John Street. He came and asked Dame and Jay for some money. Yo, I'm fucked up. You're gonna help me out, yo. Yeah.